You can now see the keyboard you're typing on in VR thanks to a program called Immersed. I'll be finding out if it actually works. Hello and welcome back to the VR Cauldron, the channel that aims to bring you helpful, entertaining and original Quest and VR content. If that sounds good to you, then hit the subscribe button to join the amazing community. You can leave any time you like. <laughs> Well then to Matthew Fire Eye for getting all the clips right from the last video and at the end of this video I'll be revealing the winner of the super secret giveaway where you had the chance of winning this elite strap. Go. Oh, no. ah. <laughs> okay. Sheesh. Who sheesh. says sheesh? Who says sheesh? Last one. So back when the Quest 2 was revealed at Facebook Connect 6, we found out about the Infinite Office, a program that allows us to work in VR in much the same way that we could work in an office. The difference? Multiple massive monitors in augmented reality. Working in this kind of environment definitely has its perks and anyone who's worked with two monitors on a normal desktop computer will attest to how much easier it is to deal with multiple windows. Well now you can feel epic and have windows everywhere. Periodic table. Right here. Rendering periodic tables, sir. And now with the Quest 2's high resolution, it actually looks pretty good. But a problem still remain, and that is you're in a headset, so you have no idea where the keyboard is. I don't think it's tracking the keyboard. So for non-touch typers, Infinite Office has promised a tracked Logitech keyboard, and we were all looking forward to that, aren't we? But then along comes Immersed. It's been out for a while actually and it allows you to see your computer screens in VR as well as join with other people to collaborate in virtual environments which is great for people who work in depressing small spaces and it's really good due to the way the world is right now. You can get a bare bones free version with fewer monitors and then you can pay monthly fees for more features. Personally I don't like the idea of monthly fees for something like this but it may work for some people who really need this functionality. You do get a trial of the top level so it might be worth trying out if it sounds like something you need. I won't go into the program features in this video, what I really want to do is test out its new feature, the virtual keyboard. So the program uses hand tracking so you can see your hands. After a short but annoying calibration process, Immersed promises to bring your keyboard into the virtual space, solving all of our invisible keyboard problems. Or does it? So I'll be comparing my typing speed in the real world with my speed in Immersed, but also with a few other programs, Virtual Desktop, which allows me to do similar things, and the standard Oculus browser keyboard. I'll be typing the immortal sentence that has bugged kids for decades. The quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. Three times and simply comparing times, so no words per minute malarkey. So I'll show you how the calibration process works and then we'll do the speed tests. In we go. Oh, monitors. Right, so let's, let's get this keyboard going. Um, press shift. There we go, right. Press P. Q, which is, it's quite hard because you don't know where it is. And then hold on, hold it down. And B, have a little look, put it on the finger, and then let's see. It's C and D. Is it? It's just bent. It feels like it's in the wrong place. Let's enter. It is on it though, it just didn't look right. Delete. F12. No, it's F10. That's way off. Then obviously if you move it, it doesn't stay. So let's try again. Is it on there? B. But it's still bent. Alright, let's write something. So 
So in real life, I managed to type the sentence three times in 15 seconds. Unsurprisingly, that was my best time. In last place was the Oculus browser with one minute, two seconds. In second place was virtual desktop with one minute and one second. And in first place was the immersed keyboard with 53 seconds. So not really that much faster than the other two. But actually in reality, it was generally a lot faster to type using the immersed keyboard compared to using touch controllers. However, I made so many mistakes due to the keyboard not quite matching up or maybe also due to the hand tracking lag that the time it took me to correct all the mistakes meant that it wasn't really all that faster. Now I suppose I could practice or keep trying to calibrate the keyboard but I'm not really sure what I could have done differently. I also tried this on a Logitech K400 wireless keyboard and it was even worse. The keyboard in Immersed even ended up upside down a few times and it was always slightly off where the keyboard was in real life. I think the whole calibration process is really clunky since you can't actually see where you're putting your finger and I don't think the calibration likes it when you move your headset around so you can see through the gap by your nose. It's also worth noting that the methods used to type in virtual desktop and the oculus browser aren't meant for typing long documents, they're just there to do quick web searches or password inputs. Virtual Desktop and other programs like it would generally rely on your ability to touch type. And sadly, it's not an ability that a lot of people have. I can sort of type without looking, but I still need to see where the keyboard is in my peripheral vision. If I can't see it at all, then suddenly I just feel lost and I can't type anything. Another feature I'd like to see in these types of programs is the option of freeing yourself from the PC and working natively in the headset. No PC needed, no internet needed, and then maybe we wouldn't need a connected keyboard at all. We could see an accurate image of the keyboard in VR and the app can tell which buttons we're pressing or if we need the tactile feedback we could still have a keyboard tracked but it's not connected so the actual button presses wouldn't be picked up through the keyboard but visually through the headset it's just there to give us a little more feeling as we type if we do get a track keyboard I don't think calibrating its size is going to be the way forward it either needs to track it in real time in the same way hand tracking works or it needs to be a special keyboard that can be tracked in the same way VR controllers are right now. To me, the idea of putting on a headset and being able to work in an augmented reality, that means you can see the real world, with big monitors without the need for any other equipment, is something I'd be extremely interested in. And I think a lot of public transport commuters would get a lot of use from it too. I do feel it has to be augmented reality as I wouldn't want to become totally shut off from my surroundings, especially if I was on a train full of strangers who might want to rob me. What do you think? Would you use your quest like this? Let me know in the comments down below. And as for the immersed keyboard, it's a good idea, but for me it's not quite there yet. You might have a different mileage, and it is free, so it's probably worth trying out. So, the strap giveaway. Firstly, thanks to all who entered. Remember, it was a super secret giveaway. It wasn't meant to bring in new subscribers, but to reward those people with us already, and also those who made it to the end of two videos. So, if you're here listening right now, you've made it to the end of another one, so thank you for being you. If I do future giveaways, they'll be very likely to be done in a similar way. The answer to the question, which other movie franchise makes a scary appearance in my Blair Witch video, was of course, Scream, when this happened. Ah, oh my bloody hell. And the winner is, these are all from the screen video, so we've got 76 pages, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a random number generator here, I'm going to keep clicking it, I'm going to close my eyes, and eventually I'm going to let go, and I'm going to go to that page, as long as it's within 1 to 76, 18, I'm going to go to page 18, and then hopefully on page 18, I'm going to... Right, there's page 17, so there's page 18, I can see some screen already, and let's copy that page, go to a new one, let's do that, and I'm going to search for the word scream, and I'm going to keep clicking, find next, can I, can I just keep doing it, right, I'm going to keep doing it, I'm going to close my eyes, I don't know if you can see my eyes, I've closed them, and the winner is... Ugh. Jeffrey Wang. Jeffrey Wang. You are our winner, Jeffrey Wang. So, you need to leave a comment on this video. Uh, let me know how you are going to contact me, whether you want to use Discord or Twitter or Instagram or something else where you can leave me your address so I can get you the um, strap. Okay? So, well done. Congratulations. You win the strap that we chucked down the stairs and sat on. 
No returns, I'm afraid. So if you found this video helpful or entertaining, then don't forget to hit the thumbs up button. And if you want to stick around for the VR information and entertainment, then don't forget to subscribe. I've been Al. Thanks for watching the VR Cauldron. Take care of yourselves and I hope to see you next time. See ya. Just don't